Alexander Gerst will shortly be joining the crew on board the International Space Station. He'll be leaving Earth with NASA's Serena Ornum Chancellor and Russian cosmonaut Sergei Prokopyev. The mission, which ESA has named Horizons, is set to break new ground in scientific and technological research, as well as paving the way for future missions beyond low Earth orbit. Alexander will travel to the ISS in a Russian Soyuz vehicle. He'll spend approximately six months on board the station, roughly the same duration as his first mission back in 2014. After this, a Soyuz will bring him back home, descending from 400 kilometers above Earth to the Kazakhstan steppes in less than four hours. The Horizons mission brings with it new responsibilities for the German astronaut. He'll be acting as Soyuz co-pilot, which has taken almost a year of training to prepare for. But most significant for both Alexander and ESA will be the role he'll play on board the ISS, that of space station commander. Until now, only one other European, Frank de Winner, has been given this privilege. He'll be in charge of maintaining morale, overseeing operations, and ensuring safety in orbit. In an emergency, as a commander, you really have to give direct orders. You're uh, carrying the responsibility for the International Space Station. If there's a fire, if there's a depressurization, it's really important for the commander to keep uh, the situational awareness, the overview of what's happening on the vehicle, and then react quickly. If there's no communication with the ground, we need to save ourselves. As before, much of Alexander's time on board the station will be spent carrying out science and technology experiments. Inside Columbus, Europe's only lab dedicated to long-term weightless research, he'll work through a wide-ranging schedule of studies designed to improve life both on Earth and during future space missions. Some of Alexander's work will investigate the effects of different environments on human physiology and reactions, such as this European study into time One, perception. Two, three, four. During training, he's learned how to use a lot of new hardware, as the technology available on board the ISS is constantly improving. Every expedition we have roughly two to three hundred varying experiments, so there's hardware coming up, going down all the time, being installed. So I'm sure when I come back to the space station, um, many of those experiments have completely changed. But I guess in overall, uh, it's going to be very familiar to come back to that amazing space station. During the 18 years it has been inhabited, the ISS has yielded an enormous amount of scientific data and allowed manned spaceflight to progress through international cooperation. The Horizons mission will give ESA another chance to share in this success, while the appointment of another European commander acknowledges its long-term contribution to the project.